TPM1999 here, coming to you with another video. Today I'm going to be reviewing a Tesla Universal Mobile Connector. That's right, I'm going to be getting myself a Tesla. But the question is, why did I buy a charging cord for it? Well, one comes with a car, so why do you need two? Well, my main plan is to uh, leave one in the vehicle so I can charge it around town in case of an emergency, but it has a very long range, the Tesla Model 3, which is the model that I'm getting. Um, so I probably won't need to charge much, but I just want to leave one in there just in case. And of course, I'll be mostly charging at home, so I wanted to use the uh, Tesla Universal Mobile Connector for that. They also make a permanent mount and a permanent hardwire version, but that's a little bit more expensive, and I prefer this one because it has a pretty low profile. This is the Gen 2 of the Tesla Mobile uh, Connector uh, charger, and the Gen 2 is a little different in the fact that it's smaller. Also, it has less amperage as which, you know, some could see as a negative, but really it's only 32 instead of, I believe the older version was 40 amps. Um, but that really doesn't affect speed overall because all you need to do is plug it in overnight and you're good to go. But um, if you're timing it and you have a long commute to work, you might uh, think about getting a hardwired version of the Tesla charger or possibly the older Gen 1 version of the Tesla Universal Mobile Connector. So I'm just gonna open it up real quick. And here it is. Oh wait, it's just in the bag. This is probably the same type of bag that they give you when you buy the one uh, for the vehicle. And uh, I'm just gonna unzip it and uh, see what's in there. It should be uh, two different type of connectors. One being one for a 110, nor a quote unquote normal North American outlet, and then a 220 outlet. So here we are. Okay, it's in a big old plastic bag. I'll lift it up real quick. Here it is, here's the main part. You can see that's a connector that goes in the car. This is the one that you need to plug into the wall, but since it's got two different adapters, let's take a look at those. We have, first of all, let me get out of the bag slightly. Yeah, the normal 110 outlet that you plug in into any outlet. I have uh, some NEMA 1450 outlets in my garage, 240 volt. So that should be uh, quick enough definitely to get the 32 amps out because it's 50 or 40 amps uh, normally. And that should be plenty fast to charge my car, no matter how much I drive around town. Then here is the NEMA 1450 plug. This is uh, a lot of people might know as an electric oven in the States type of plug. Uh, some modern washers, uh, I mean dryers have this if they're an electric dryer. They might be a 50 amp, but really it's mostly electric ranges that have this type of plug. And of course, now uh, EVs. So I'm hoping to be uh, getting my EV soon if the delivery goes well. I hope to uh, record some of that. There's some other accessories that I will be uh, reviewing. I'll give a little preview later on. And some cat food. And <laughs> not reviewing the cat food, though. And uh, that's about it. Just want to give you a quick unboxing. This is exactly what you would get when you buy the car. You also get one other adapter when you uh, purchase the vehicle. But it's basically the same container, same plastic, same everything else. So yeah, this is TPM1999. Don't forget to subscribe if you like the content. Like it, give it a thumbs up. Tonight is also the uh, reveal of the Model Y. I just uh, ordered my Model 3 recently because the uh, quote unquote least expensive version just came out. Still pretty expensive, but something I saved up for and uh, decided to get. Have a good one. Like and subscribe.